Good afternoon everyone, I have a thrift haul for you and there are two things I have to show you Ah, right in front So I got two what are, these, what are these? Um, picture frames So this one is really just the frame and well this side looks terrible um, but this really seems to be the original part as it has these little holder thingies on there and these two dark brown frames were from that um, free box I found um, when was it? when I was at work, when I was working and the other thing I wanted to show you is what I do with these coasters that I recently got. So since this is a material that doesn't burn, I just put two together like this and I put my phone on top of you of them uh, when I charge it. Because uh, you always want to make sure you charge your phone because it can get hot in that area uh, on a surface that doesn't burn. It's really important. You can set your house on fire. And now my cat is blocking the view. <laughs> okay, so last week I was at Salvation Army and got a few things for... What was it? Not much. Uh, so I cannot remember if I paid 10 or 20 cents for these. So I got hankies. So I don't have one that looks like this. It's a bit pinkish. But it's nice. Then this one. They are, they are old. This is also pretty pretty soft. So it's an asymmetrical pattern. Um, and I got a third one. Let me show you. With beautiful flowers and really thin and that dries fast. I have to sit down. My back really, really hurts when I stand like this. I have to put these picture frames somewhere else. I'm not even sure how well you could see that. Um, there is some, some gold on the inside. A bit of black and dark brown. I think they are really pretty. No burgers sitting on, on the other frame. <laughs> So I got four books. A book is uh, 30 cents each. So I got Don Quixote. And this is an old one. Oh, cat, what are you doing? Did it even say a year on here? Oh, here it says 1953. Not sure if that is the year, but um, this looks pretty. I'm sorry for the sunlight. Uh, I tried to film when the sunlight was better, but I had to charge my phone's battery first. Then I got this book by Solovyov and Osnasredin. Is that one name or two names? I'm not sure. No, Nasredin, that's part of the title. But I find it really pretty. I think it's the one that has these nice illustrations. Oh yeah, for each chapter. They have these illustrations. <laughs> I, I think I think it's really pretty. It's also an older one. Oh, 1961. That's GDR. I think. Oh, it's West Berlin. Which just says Berlin. Uh, oops. Then a Dickens book. I cannot tell what the original title is. Uh, that's not so interesting here. Let's see if I can see. 71. If it says what the... Oh. <laughs> the old curiosity shop. Okay. <laughs> Do you know Scott's old curiosity shop? 
I had no idea that there was a book with that um, title. Lachender Schnee, there would be laughing snow. I, I find this really interesting. There are a lot of books that look like this. Uh, this says 1943. So there was Deutsches Reich, Drittes Reich, something. I'm, I'm not even sure what the exact name was in 43. Yeah, so this is this is an older book. But it's in, in a good condition, I must say. Relatively good condition. It has some photos in here. Snow. I have no idea what, what type of book this is. If it's something scary or something funny. I have no idea. So then from the same day I got this. They had a 10 cents sale for stuff. So this has strawberries. Finally something with strawberries. Yay. And a blackberry, walnut and plums. And it's Kala, made in GDR. I don't know if the 81 is the year or something else. I've tested it. No cracks. There might be a cat hair in there. Yep, that's a cat hair. <laughs> And this kitty here with strawberries. So this is going to be my water drinking cup. And this base here, this was in a free pile and it's a bit cracked at the bottom. I put some water in, nothing came, came through. So I have no idea where these cracks exactly are. I don't really feel them. Maybe they are just on the inside. But what I wanted to do with this um, more yellowish amber vase is either I put uh, light strings in here, the LED string lights, or just one if, if it can fit in here, light bulb. So I want to turn this into a light for a dark corner because I like the color a lot, but I'm very likely going to put in my LED strings, whatever. I have one that's super duper cold very cold white light and I might just use that and put that in here I mean this is a beautiful color so maybe it doesn't look that cold cold anymore oh uh, yeah so these items are from today so I found my mat matching cutlery this is pretty uh, yeah, it just says uh, stainless. Oh, come on. There we go. Rostfrei. Oh, cat. <laughs> I want to show something. Burger. <laughs> then I found this. Um, this is for, for hankies. They had another one that was white and had a blue pattern. But this one looked nicer. You just tie it together. This is so, so GDR. I had one of these and I think it got super stained and I just threw it away at some point. But this looks super duper clean. I cannot tell how much I paid for it. Maybe 10 cents. The cutlery is 10 cents each. I think I paid 10 cents for these, for each of these hankies. This is again a thin one. With beautiful flowers. I'm, I'm pretty sure these are all all pretty old. <laughs> then these flowers are super beautiful. Then they had a few of these but I only wanted one. <laughs> I'm sorry the the sunlight doesn't make it not Easy. I'm not sure what these um, fruits are, if these are plums or cherries or something. I don't know. Then I got this super soft one. It has initials. Initials of someone here. R, G or R, C. 
I think it's RC. Really soft, really nice. And then this one. Kind of reminded me to my childhood. They had a few of these. But I only wanted one. And then this book. Wolfsbane and Mistletoe. This book is actually English, it's not German. So I thought, well, that could be nice. New and original festive werewolf tales. Festive for me. Sure, Christmas is coming up. Then they had boxes on, on a table and there was no, no sign on it. And I asked, well, how, how much for these items in, on, on the table in the middle? And that old lady said, oh, that stuff is for free because I found this. Well, you can guess what it is. There's just a little piece of the label left. I see if I can clean that out a little. There's no handle on it. My mom has one with a handle. So guess what this thing is. This is definitely older than I am. This is made in GDR. Guess what you do with this? I can show you. We do this. It's a knife sharpener. And I was looking for one of these for such a long time. Oh my goodness. Never ever did a store have one of these. I always asked in a few stores, do, 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 do you have one of these? Do you finally have one? Because my mom doesn't want to give hers away. And yeah. So now I have one, I just have to clean it a little. But these um, little metal ring thingies is what sharpens is what sharpens the, the blade. It goes right through. Right in there. And you just do this a few times and if it's not, not a knife like this and get it's already sharp and more more sharp than before so yeah that's what it is that's how you use it and like i said my mom has one with a handle so you can actually hold it like this and then you go oh yeah and then i saw this thing the free pile this is all free now i thought oh maybe this is uranium glass but it's not i have a a uh, UV light and it just didn't work. Uh, it might be a newer piece, but what you can do with these if you don't want to use them to drink out of. Um, sometimes uh, flowers lose a blossom, you know, like roses. Sometimes happens with roses and other flowers. You can just, kitty cat, what you doing? You can just put a bit of water in here and set the blossom in there and then it's beautiful and pretty. And the other glass item is this little vase. This is a very thin glass. Um, I don't know if there's dust in here. I will see if I can clean it a little better. Or maybe it's just water stains. How oh, well you can, can you see that? There. But I didn't see any chips on it. So yeah, this is really almost as light as a Christmas bubble. Yeah, I had to take this. Uh, either I want to use it or I will turn this into a little present. Just with some wrapping paper and the ribbon uh, for my Christmas decorations. I don't know. And I saw this thing. And I thought, well, this pattern here, this looks really vintage. The sad thing is, it's enamel. Um, yeah, you can see there's something missing. I would not drink out of this thing. I have no idea if this is just dirt in, down there, but something looks like rust. And if it's rusty, I definitely do not want to drink out of it. So maybe... Also, it looks pretty bad over here. No idea what happened. But maybe I just would use it in my kitchen for... 
stuff like, you know, the, the wooden thingies. He just... There's the um, paper which I used. Which which I had to 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 wrap all these breakable things here. Yeah. Bugger. Bugger. No, he doesn't want to look. <laughs> oh, kitty cat. Okay, back back to the stuff here. Yeah. So again, free pie. As for this cup, it has quite some wear, especially here. So I don't know if I want to use it, but I found, find it's, it's beautiful and it's also made in GDR. It's a cold, cold, it's cold, cold, it's piece. Um, then I saw this one. <laughs> it has this cute pink elephant on one side and this cute blue bunny on the other side. And it's also a color made in GDR. Uh, this is in a better condition, so this is definitely usable if this cleans up completely. Because I don't know what this dark spot over there is. If it's broken glaze or something else, I don't know. I will see. Then I saw this sugar bowl, which I'm not sure if it's restaurant wear or if it's something... For people at home, I don't know how well you can see the colors. It's like a bronze color and a gold. And this is also a made in GDR. So we had restaurant wear that looked kind of close to this. Also just, but, but in, I know it usually with green, these, these stripes here, but in green, a dark green. Um, that's known as Mitropa. Uh, Mitropa was some sort of a like like a canteen type of restaurant. So you had uh, limited options, but you got the same stuff everywhere for a low price, and they had the same type of dishes everywhere. So if you come across something that says Mitropa, that might be a GDR piece. Then the last piece is a, what is it, a cheese dome? There is no maker on it. No idea if this is dirt. Oh yeah, it's dirt. Um, there was no plate, platter, whatever you call that, where you sit it on. But I thought this is definitely usable for me. Um, if I have something on a smaller plate and I want to just put something on top in my fridge, I can use it. Yep. Um, that is all that I have. It's quite some things. The forgotten pieces, stuff from recently, and all the other stuff from today, and the cat. Now he's... Now he's snuggled up. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this wasn't too awkward. I uh, hope you found it somewhat interesting and thank you guys so much for watching and see you next video. Bye!